Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Napoleon's Ambition, where we're playing as France in E4 with the 1.35 um, Ottoman update and the Domination DLC. We are playing as France, we have our Apanage subjects. Uh, we did go a little um, aggressive early on, uh, using up our crown lands for the mana point privileges, but I think it is going to pay off in the long run. And like I said before, uh, annexing the Apanages right away is not necessarily the best thing in my mind. So I think we are good there. That is something I'm definitely intrigued by. As well as we should be good here too. So let's improve relations with the Mamluks. Because that will get us a half price advisor. Which I think is something that is definitely worth doing. We're going to let these guys recover. And then we want to boost our trust up with Provence once again. So we are able to do this mission. And basically they get an event. They can choose to become our subject. Or, um, they will declare a war on us, I believe, is how it works. And, um, I mean, their only other ally is Saluzo, and that'll be an easy victory for us. So, definitely take it if that's the option, but I would rather just get them peacefully. So, as soon as my army is recovered, there we go. They chose war instead. And it broke their alliance with us, so does that mean they get a stability loss? Possibly. I don't know what their stability was. I should have checked it beforehand. Crush their army. We will... Um, we're going to leave behind a siege force, so... We're going to take all of you... And Anjou is their capital, I think. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll leave you behind. Go and blow open the walls. That sounds fun. Uh, expand infrastructure cost modifier. Sure. As well as cheaper war taxes, which I will go ahead and activate now. Because a little bit more money is always a good thing. Our subjects will do a lot of the hard work for us, and... Oh, they declared on us, which means we got Castile involved. So, I will actually just chill now. Now, the thing is, what are my peace deal options in this war? I don't even know what... French Provencal War of Honor. It could make them a vassal. I was seeing if there was a union option. I don't think there is, but... Taking all of their provinces... Would only upset Burgundy. So that actually sounds like a good move on my part. I'll send you over here. Did Castile really take that province? That is annoying. I mean, I could subjugate them. We'll send this army in to deal with them. back to chill. It is annoying that Castile grabbed one of the uh, provinces from me. We're going to need to get that in another separate war then. But I could take one of these as well. But that would really upset people in the HRE. So let's actually just do this. 
we will let you guys stay. And we'll keep you isolated for the most part, so only really the Pope or Saluzzo or Savoy could really do anything. Revoke your core on main and call it a day. Now then all of those we're going to core up in quick order. And we'll need to go back for the rest later on. Okay, that is good. 1463, we can do that soon. Scotland wants money. Scotland wants money, huh? No, Scotland, I, I don't think so. You guys can live without it. I want to keep making sure we're improving with our subjects. Um, no, we will not give those provinces back. Savoy declared war on Provence. Okay, so that's actually good because I think we have a claim on that province now. No, we don't. Well, if Savoy is going to take it, or no, Savoy declared on them. Well, if Savoy is going to take it, I will. They're not in the HRE. You guys allied to the Emperor, no. But you're still in the Empire. Did that happen already? Did the uh, Shadow Kingdom... It did happen and they abandoned Italy, but Milan stayed in. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. I mean, they don't really have... I mean, their strongest ally is this. If I could... Castile does low trust with me? Why? It's not like I called them in with a promise of land or anything. Oh, they're allied to the Emperor. Okay, that's that's the issue. Um, we'll take the AE impact and I will go ahead and do my golden era. I always like to fire it early. I'm going to save it. We're going to save it for when we go revolutionary later on in the campaign. At least that's my intention. That plan may change in a little bit, but... For now, I think that's the best option. Let's go ahead and keep currying favors with you. Nobles ally with foreign power. I'll just boost up the nobility estate. Keep them as loyal as possible. Muscovy rivaled me. Really? I'm going to go ahead and re-rival... You know, I'm going to rival Austria, actually. Because if I do this war with them here, I'm going to send you guys a small gift of 325 ducats, which I would very, very much like you to use to pay off your loans. And then with any luck, 
I gotta wait till the end of the year, but with any luck. We can. Get the Castilians involved in this conflict. Did your debt go higher, or did you just not use your money to pay off your debt? I don't know why you guys are being such a pain about this. I'll go ahead and scornfully insult the uh, Burgundians. That would be a nice little boost to relations with Castile. They didn't use any of that money I gave them to pay off their loans. I can't believe that. Connect the provinces. So... We'll do that. We'll get access to the French Infrastructure State Edict. Friendly Movement Speed. Okay. We'll go ahead and send a Papal Legate. Oh, I forgot to seize land. I got a little too focused on the whole situation with Castile not helping out. Because they didn't use my money for their loans. I will go ahead and state these provinces, get those cored up. Um, no, nah, I don't really care about that. Would you help with Brittany? Like, they're more loyal to help with Brittany. They paid off some of their loans. We are getting there. We are getting there. Go ahead and full state Lorraine as well. I can still hold off on taking that. I really would like to get my personal union together. We can take that on the yearly tick. Um, I will go ahead and recruit a couple generals. Just to make sure we're still in a good spot there. This is my cannon army, so I want to make sure they have the best siege general. They're all the same, basically, so they do... Can I get my Diplo rep any higher? Do I have a... I could swap to... I don't have one. I was going to say, if I could swap to a Diplo rep advisor, that would help. Yeah, Austria rivaled us. We can do a House United. Which is... Where? Right here. Provence does not exist or is a subject to France bunch of bonuses for this and yeah, we could freely integrate them with that but we don't have that option so that'll also let us do a crown seat in Paris which will 
make Diplo annexing cheaper. We're going to need to save this mission probably for when we're ready to... And you know what? I don't care. We're just going to click it. <laughs> Could be more effective with that, but it's fine. Like I said, I'm not trying to be the most efficient possible here. Uh, we will go with regional councils, and the reason... Oh, I got two government reforms out of that. Um, I do like the extra diplomats. Although lands from the church, um, the papal states will become important to us in the future. So we're going to try and get that going. But for now... Uh, hold on, where was I at? I drew a blank. First off, let's check on this. Their ruler is now cruel. Castile is just not helping me out at all. Oh, I was going to do my edicts. So we're actually going to swap all of these to the feudal tax edict. And the easier way to do this is to go into this screen and just go ahead and by doing this everywhere. We're going to get a huge boost to our income. With how heavily we are leaning into the tax meta right now, this is going to be huge. So currently we are making 10 ducats a month. 13. Three more ducats just from activating those edicts. We are going to take military tech on the yearly tick, and we'll also take diplo tech, so boom boom. Okay, Austria is allied with those guys. I can't believe Enrique is cruel. I was so close to getting them to join my war. I swear if I do this again and they do not pay back, pay off their loans with this money, I'm going to be mad. I just gave you a bunch of money, you can pay off your loans, why aren't you doing it? Is it because you know I'm trying to drag you into a war? Is that why? Papal states are the controller of the papacy. It's a little closer and they still won't even do it. Trade expansion, a nice little boost to our income there. Let's go ahead and summon another diet. Nitsa. Hmm. A little expansion into Italy. It's not a bad idea. And we can also yoink this province from them as well. Yeah, let's do it. Ottomans get some fastening going on. Okay, there we go. We got the war goal. He just went and attacked one of our uh, subjects' armies. I'm actually going to wait, and we will take this next tech before we get, get the next idea group. Here, pretty far ahead. I'm just going to take the stability hit. It's fine. We'll probably get it back soon. 
Can I get this taken care of, please? There we go. We'll get up here and deal with their... Deal with some Venetians. Deal with some Savoyards. Deal with some Venetians. Three natural scientists or the admin points. I'll take the admin points and then we can take the admin tech. Oh, you. Castile will help, huh? Come on, Castile. Let's go. Did they stack wipe that army? They stack wipe that army. Oh, that's not good. At least it wasn't my cannons. We'll get some more tax meta going. We're going to build up a new army. We'll take the last jousting tournament. That'll be a nice boost for us. Build up a couple more units, and then we're going to go in and take care of them. Intrigues in Paris. I'll just lose a little bit of legitimacy. our cheap advisor for admin um we'll just keep leaning into the tax meta then and i'll just take in some money for now and we can even use this money to really grow our country getting some more trade income might be a good idea but i could also build up some more churches can definitely see that as a possibility. Luca Venice Bologna. Luca is occupied, we'll just piece you out. Bologna is being occupied. Some Provencal separatists, let's get them knocked out. We can get up here and deal with their army. Uh, Bologna, we will simply take money war reps and trade power from you. Um, how about you end your alliance with Savoy? And hopefully that'll get you eaten up pretty easily. Go ahead and take our next idea group.
I'm going to get this taken down as quickly as I can. And we're going to keep focusing on taxes for now. And we do have Versailles build up too, which is going to be real nice for us. Right, let's send you boys back here. And let's see, Venice. Just give me give me war reps, and then whatever other money you'll give me. And then Savoy. If I let that siege happen, what I want is this: all your money. Uh, war reps and trade power. Gonna get those cored up. We can build some more churches. And finally, uh, I will seize land. We're up to 33% now. And finally, we will go. We'll declare our Restoration Union War, but you guys still won't help. Castile, you are becoming the biggest pain right now. Boost our trust. Should be more than enough. There we go. Castile, help with Austria, Naples, Brigands. Okay, good, 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 good. It's going to be a little bit of a big war. But, uh, yeah, having Castile and their subjects involved will be very useful. Uh, we'll just take the uh, hit to our legitimacy. Austria just spawning units out of thin air. Okay, we're on tech 6, they are on tech 5. So we have a huge tech advantage against them. Even though they have a numbers advantage, it's a defensive battle. There we go. Let's get on here and deal with their army. here deal with that get over here blow the walls we'll get this fort down as quickly as we can all right if I get an admiral and sort out um, they will bring in the rest of their fleet and crush me <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go for this then. Man, Castillo, you are like the most useless ally ever. Get down here and deal with all of their uh, little armies again. That's a huge win. Did I not take this fort? 
I could have sworn I had that fort under my control. I am making some serious errors in this game. Or did they take it back pretty much right away? I could have sworn I had that taken though. We'll go ahead and take our next infrastructure idea. We can go ahead and build up a bunch more churches and we'll even go ahead and proclaim a holy war. Give ourselves a boost there. I definitely had this fort taken. They must have taken it back. Okay, they all just keep running. I'm gonna blow the walls there. I'd like to get Saluzo out of this war. Pretty quickly if I could. We'll reduce our war exhaustion. Since we have so much. Uh, here. 200 Splendor. 25 Prestige. Sounds good to me. Of course they take it right then. Extend our loans. Half price Dippler rep guy. I will take that. Yeah, it is him. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then... Keep on crushing their armies, because Steel White Peast. You guys were absolutely useless. Thank you for your service. Manufactory, manufactory, or build up my navy. I guess I'll build up my navy. And uh, we're just going to simply... Focus on a trade navy for now. A new champion of the Joust. I'm just going to take the legitimacy. I don't really need a... Uh, awesome general at the moment. Go ahead and crush their armies. Make your way up onto their capital. Blow the walls on Vienna. Sienna wants a white piece. Sure. Just because you're an OPM, you're not really worth me uh, dealing with. We can get mill tech, but I don't really need it. Fort maintenance reduction is good, and some morale of armies boosts. Huge. Get, get the fort down, get the fort down. Get the fort down. Get the fort down. Get 
Okay, this is simple humiliation. Money. Yeah, humiliation and money. That's all I want. And then we will come back to our own lands. We'll deal with these Neapolitans. Um, we're going to need to get up onto Costans. They're going to try and get our fort, our capital. Uh, we need to blow the walls here. Uh, Naples wants a white piece. I'll take a white piece with them. Bergens wants a white piece, sure. Loyal subjects. Take the army tradition. Take the uh, loyal subject bonus. Simony, sure. We'll go ahead and take both of you. I'm not going to white piece you, Milan. I will white piece the three leagues, though. Alright, we'll take both of these techs for innovativeness. Castans, please let me out of your lands. Thank you. We'll go down and deal with the Milanese army. Armagnac Pretender Rebels. It's not really a concern for us. Alright, and then we'll blow the walls on their capital. Get that wrapped up. Uh, Saluzo, I'm just going to piece you out for now. We'll take money, war ups, and trade power. Come back for you later. Um, we want to build up some more churches. Since that's kind of our thing at the moment. Siege of Milano is done. Blow the wall here. That got us an admiral. Alright, and then go over here and just help them out. And uh, we can... Peace out Milan as well. I'm just going to do this for now just to tell our subjects to get off of those lands so they will be in a uh, more available position. We'll go ahead and take this. That'll give us that dev cost reduction as well. We will peace you out for the union and then as much money as we can get. And no one even really cared about that. So now we have a nice subject in Milan. Uh, Castile, you have been completely and utterly useless. So we're going to get rid of that alliance we have with you. We don't need it anymore. And yeah, I think that's a good place to end this episode. So uh, if you liked the episode, I would appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.